Hey what's up everyone this is Vajee from JK welcome on my channel today in this video we will be troubleshooting 480 three phase nine lead electric motor as you can see in a video this motor I have already checked bad motor so I decided to make a quick video for troubleshoot method there's a lot of ways to troubleshoot there's a lot of other safety we have to follow but in this video we are going to stick with only one troubleshoot method to check if this motor is ground or not this motor is grounded already but I will show step by step how to check if this motor is good or bad or ground we're not checking anything else maybe there's a lot of other uh, reasons uh, this breaker tripping it could be bad wire bad disconnect switch bad breaker a lot of things but I know I have checked everything else only uh, the motor I have uh, found bad so let's go check we're gonna follow all the steps and as you can see I have a disconnect switch here I have a lock or tag guard you need to follow your company your uh, employers uh, safety lock or tag or any process you have to do this video is not about to lock or tag or anything else uh, that's your safety you follow on your uh, behalf uh, we are just going to check this motor as you can see this uh, motor got fed by this disconnect switch when I have locked and I have uh, this cover I have removed all the screws there's only one more left we can remove that uh, bolt and we will be access to the the wiring to the motor now you see there's a power coming from the bottom and it connected to the bottom three uh, screws before you touch anything you have to follow other steps you have to check if there's any power or not for your safety double check triple check uh, as I have said already this is not the video for the safety or anything you have to follow all uh, the the education you have done already if you are not electrician you're not supposed to do that one so now these are the power leads I have a checked already with my mirror there is no power so what I will do I will uh, remove those three screws as you can see at the bottom there's a three wire uh, three face and the top this orange wire is ground wire so we're gonna remove all we not doing anything to the power side now these three bolts is a little bit loose so before you test motor we're gonna make sure these bolts are tight because the wire underneath these one coming from the coil from the motor coil they make a good connection if you don't tight those screws the wire not making good connection my you're not gonna be able to get good results my will be fall false result so now all those three bolts are tight I will use my 932 millimeter and I will tight then we're gonna test for testing I'm going to use a fluke 1587 insulation tester I have available this one you can use any kind of a mirror is called meg mirror also insulation tester it doesn't matter as long as the mirror is working perfect for you now I have a connected a uh, leads on my mirror where it says insulation tester and I have a dial button I am going to dial to the insulation testing mode now my mirror is set and it also gonna produce 500 to 1000 voltage when I will engage the button on my mirror I have a this lead I also have a little button on it which one will activate the little voltage and it will shows how much meg I have from one lead to other lead so basically it's gonna find anything connected to the mirror so the first process you have to do you have to test your mirror before you start troubleshooting and after a troubleshoot finished to make sure your mirror not giving you false reading so I have a done already you do on your behalf now I'm going to use this mirror as you can see I have alligator clip and other little push button probe alligator clip will go to the ground mode I as you can see I have a connected already uh, luckily I have a, this motor made with metal and I have a little magnet holder so holding my mirror so it's gonna be a lot easier for me because I'm using my hand to make a video and other hand we can use to troubleshoot the motor so now my mirror uh, one end connected to the chassis ground and other end I have a connected to the mirror so also I have a testing probe connected to the mirror 
which one I'm going to press the button will engage certain uh, voltage like 500 voltage and I will show how much resistance we have from one end to other end now I have not connected anything it shows 550 meg as soon as I connect my lead to the ground it dropped to 0.0, .0 or 0.8 it should show uh, ohms here but it doesn't show any resistance any ohm that means the the mirror I have connected to the coil the motor coil or motor winding is grounded to the body is burned or something so it's grounded as soon as disconnect from the motor it shows 550 meg which means uh, this motor loop between uh, coil and the ground is exposed burned so it's not a good motor so you don't have to check anything else if one coil is grounded that means all the coils are grounded you know need to do anything and this point we will be confirmed this motor was grounded that's all for today thank you for watching if you like my video please like share comment and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching meet you in next video with the new topic